Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I am doing a very fun tag, and if you couldn't tell already by my makeupless face or the title of this video, I am doing the makeup book tag. So I've had several people ask me to do a makeup tutorial before, and I am not a makeup artist by any means. I kind of just do what I think looks good and just roll with it, so I don't know how comfortable I would be doing a makeup tutorial, but I've been seeing this tag go around lately, so I thought that this would be the perfect way to mesh the two. I can still talk about books, and for those of you who are interested I can show you how I do my makeup. My hair is also still wet because I recently got out of the shower and lots of you have actually asked me to do a hair tutorial too so this video can double for that because I don't actually do anything to my hair I just let it naturally dry and it curls so there you go there's your hair tutorial. <laughs> but like I said before I'm not a makeup artist and I don't think that I'm very good at makeup particularly and I actually don't really wear that much makeup day to day I wear a lot more makeup on camera than I do in real life. In real life I go to school exactly like this sometimes maybe I'll put on mascara and I'll usually put on some lipstick but yeah that's it I don't really like wearing that much makeup but in my videos or if I'm going to some sort of event or something like that I definitely do wear some more makeup so in this tag I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my makeup like that because otherwise you'd just be sitting here watching me put on some mascara and lipstick and that would be it and that would not be a very fun video <laughs> so without any further ado let's get into putting all of these products on my face <laughs> so the first question is primer pick a book that left a lasting impression and I actually don't wear primer I don't own any so so we're just gonna go with this Clinique moisturizer and I'm gonna put this all over my face instead. Um, and as for a book that left a lasting impression, I recently read You by Caroline Kepneys and I cannot stop thinking about that book. If you haven't heard of it, it's a psychological thriller about this guy who is stalking this woman and the whole thing is written in the second person narrative or like the first person narrative kind of. He's referring to the girl as you the entire time. So sometimes while you're reading it, it kind of feels like he's actually talking to you and it's also just really 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 creepy because you're in his head the whole time and he is a stalker and he's crazy so it's really interesting to read from that perspective and I just cannot stop thinking about that book. Question two is foundation. Pick your favorite first book in a series and uh, the foundation that I use is this Clinique Age Defense BB Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, yeah, so it's a BB cream. It's not a foundation because I hate foundation. I hate the feeling of it on my face. I try and use the lightest thing I possibly can that will still give me some coverage uh, because I, like I said, hate foundation. I also don't apply this all over my face. I literally just like put some on the back of my hand and then I just put it anywhere where I have like some breakouts or redness or my under eyes and things like that. Um, yeah, because like I said, I hate having it all over my face, so try to use as little as possible. But as for my favorite first book in a series, um, obviously Harry Potter, but I'm not gonna go with that because that's too basic of an answer. I also really, really love The Final Empire, the first book in the Mistborn trilogy. You can't see them, they're right here. Um, that book is fantastic. The first one just sets up the whole world and it's so, so good. I also really love Six of Crows, obviously, the first book in the Six of Crows duology. Um, that one, again, just like sets up the world and the characters so, so well. I don't know, I tend to really like first books in series. I think that they're always better than the sequel and occasionally, very occasionally, do I like the finale of the series better than I like any of the other books. Um, and that's actually true for The Raven Cycle and for Six of Crows and for Harry Potter. I guess some of my favorite series, I really like the last book the best. That's not even what the question was about. It was about the first book in a series, uh, but you know, I'm just gonna make things up as I go. Okay, so that's it for my foundation. I actually put on a lot more than I usually wear, but I'm breaking out right now because I'm stressed, so... We're dealing with it. The next question is concealer. Pick a character you wish you could get rid of. And I actually don't wear concealer, so I don't have any product to put on my face for this. Um, but I'm gonna go with pretty much like anyone from Throne of Glass. You could get rid of pretty much that entire cast of characters and I'd be happier. Just like leave Manon and Abraxos and I'd be good with that. <laughs> okay, so the next question is powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series, which I already kind of answered with the other question. I probably should have looked over these before I started this tag. My bad. <laughs> but again, I don't really put powder all over my face. The only thing I kind of use is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And basically, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a highlighter, but it's too dark to be a highlighter on my face. So I actually just take this and I put it underneath my eyes and it kind of like smooths out the under eye area, it like sets it. Um, so that's what I do. I don't know if it actually does anything or if it just like looks different in my head, but like I do it anyway. So I already kind of answered this question. 
Um, but I would probably go with right now Crooked Kingdom because I am obsessed with Crooked Kingdom right now. If you haven't seen my review for that book, I literally couldn't stop raving about it. It was so, so incredible. So moving right along, the next question is eyebrows. Pick a book that you think everyone should read. And again, I pretty much do nothing to my eyebrows. Um, I have really naturally thick, bushy eyebrows. So all I do is pluck them and groom them. I don't fill them in at all. I don't do really anything to them because I've tried to do that in the past and then it just like looks like too much and I can't deal with it. Um, but the only thing I occasionally, occasionally do, like I did this for prom, I did this for some other high school dances, is I will apply some clear brow gel. This basically just keeps all the hairs in place and um, I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video because I have nothing else to do for my eyebrows. But as for a book that I think everyone should read, um, Obviously The Night Circus because I love that book and you all know that like clearly <laughs> but actually I would probably say Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe that is like my universal recommendation because like with The Night Circus I know it's not everyone's type of book I feel like either you'd have to be in a specific mood or you'd really have to like something super whimsical and magical to enjoy that book and I know not everyone does but with Aristotle and Dante I feel like that's just the type of book that everyone could pretty much enjoy. The writing is beautiful and simplistic, the story is so meaningful, and it's just something that I think everyone should read because of the story and the message of the story. Uh, so yeah, that would definitely be a book that I think that everyone should read. The next question is eyeshadow. Pick a book with your favorite colors on the cover, and as for my eyeshadow, um, I use this Lorac Pro palette. It just has like a bunch of neutral colors. I love this palette. I pretty much only use this I also have the Naked palette. I occasionally use that, but pretty much in any of my videos, if I'm wearing eyeshadow, which I am in almost every single one, I am wearing colors from this one because I love this palette. You can do so many things with it. I don't really know what my favorite color is, so I can't really pick a book that has my favorite color on it, um, but my favorite color on book covers is probably blue. I just, I don't really know what it is about it. I just really like the color blue on covers. I just think it looks really, really good. Part of me really wants to make a whole video on some of my favorite book covers. So if that's something that you guys would like to see, definitely let me know because I can do that because I love talking about book covers because I think so many of them are so, so pretty. And I am definitely the type of person who judges a book by its cover as much as I try not to. I am definitely more drawn to really pretty book covers than I am to the ones that I don't find so attractive. Oh, and I should probably tell you guys what colors I'm using. Um, right now I'm putting some of light bronze on my lid, and then I'm going to put some of sable, this brown color, in my crease, and then I put a little bit of garnet, that like reddish color, underneath my eyes. Um, and yeah, and then I just use a little bit of cream to highlight. So. That's pretty much what I do for my eyeshadow all the time. Sometimes I use different color variations, but that's probably my favorite one. Now I'm just gonna fast forward through this part because it's pretty basic and I'm just gonna be applying it all. I don't really have rhyme or reason. I just do what I think looks good. <laughs> started raining oh my god yes I love it so much I'm so happy I'm gonna go sit down and read after this <laughs> So that is it for my eyeshadow and now moving on the next question is eyeliner pick a dark and mysterious book so the eyeliner that i use and 100 percent swear by is the maybelline line stiletto this eyeliner i've been using it since i was in my sophomore year of high school and it is my favorite liquid black eyeliner it is so so good the thing that i actually really like about it that most people would probably say is a negative thing is that it rubs off really really easily so you can wear it all day and if you don't touch your eyes it'll stay put but if you rub it like a little bit just go like that it'll come off really easily and i actually really like that because when i'm applying my eyeliner i mess up so often so i like being able to just like quickly take it off with my finger and not messing up all of my eyeshadow and having to do everything all over again and as for a dark and mysterious book i kind of want to say you again but i already said that in this video so i'm gonna go with Coraline, which is another book i recently read 
Um, and I've always loved that movie. It is such a good movie and the book is pretty much exactly the same and they're both really dark and creepy and I love them both so much. So I'm not gonna be able to apply this while talking so I'm just gonna fast forward through me putting it on and then I will come back and talk to you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get the other eye to even remotely match this one. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty much as close as I can get them to be. The next question is mascara. Pick a long book and the mascara that I use is the Benefit Roller Lash, which is another product that I absolutely swear by. This is literally the best mascara I have ever used. I naturally have really long lashes, so what I really need is a mascara that can curl them so they will just like stay up. And that's what this one does perfectly. It also definitely lengthens, but it's perfect for curling because like the wand is like I feel like a real beauty guru now, um, but the wand is like curved like that so you can like literally roll it up and it will actually like curl your eyelashes and I love it so so much. But as for a long book, um, I feel like I read a lot of long books more so than short books. The longest book I own though is probably War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. That book is like a thousand plus pages and the font is literally tiny. Um, and I have no idea when I'm ever going to read that because I am kind of terrified of it. I also have Anna Karenina, which is probably just as long, um, and I'm terrified of reading both of them just because I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to commit that much time. It'll probably take me literally months to read both of those books. And voila, I have eyelashes. <laughs> the next question is blush. Pick a book that had some cringe-worthy romance. And the blush that I use is this MAC blush in the color Koi Girl. Um, this is super old. I don't even know if they still have this color anymore. But a book with a cringeworthy romance. Is it bad if I say Throne of Glass again? <laughs> Not Throne of Glass itself, the book, but um, Empire of Storms specifically. Hated the romances in that book. I know that's an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people really, really love the romance in that book. I am just not one of those people. It is not the type of romance for me. I don't really enjoy it. And it's definitely cringeworthy to me. The next question is highlighter. Pick a book that brightened your day. And I actually don't have highlighter because I don't wear any. Um, all I have is that hourglass ambient lighting powder, which I don't even use as highlighter. So I don't have anything to put on my face for this question. But a book that brightened my day would definitely be Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I love that book. It makes me smile and laugh so, so much. It's definitely like the funniest book I've ever read and I don't really read funny books very often. I'm definitely more of like a sad book person. So I really love that book and it always makes me happy whenever I think about it. And finally, the last question is lipstick. Pick your favorite book kiss. And uh, this is actually really, really hard for me because I really like a lot of book kisses. There's one in Clockwork Angel that I really, really love. There's another one in Clockwork Princess that I really, really love. There's also one in Aristotle and Dante that like kills me every time I think about it. But my favorite one though would probably have to be one in the Night Circus um, because it's just so good. And the way that it happens is so good and if you've read the book you know what kiss I'm talking about but it like kills me it's just so so dramatic but in like the best way possible and I can't obviously tell you guys anything because I don't want to spoil it but oh my god it is just my favorite and I love it and for the lipstick that I'm gonna use today I'm gonna be using this NARS matte lip pencil okay it's a NARS velvet matte lip pencil in the color Cruella um, this is like this red color. I wear it in a lot of my videos. And I can't really talk while doing this either, so we're gonna fast forward through this part as well. My lipstick comes off a lot brighter on camera than it actually is. This is actually a much darker color in real life. I don't know what it is about my camera, but it changes the color of my lipstick in every single one of my videos. Whenever you see me wearing my lipstick, it's almost always never the same color. 
Um, but yeah, so this is like not this bright. I don't know why it does this. But that is it for the makeup book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you use any of the same makeup products as I do, or if you have a favorite one that you think I should try out. Or if you don't want to leave a makeup related comment, definitely let me know some of your thoughts on some of the books that I mentioned in this video. All of my links for my social media are in the description box as always if you would like to follow me anywhere else. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!